They started the war as feeble young boys, blindly walking into what they thought was a game. Training was tough, they were pushed to their limits, but nothing could prepare them for what they would face. The screams of fallen comrades haunt their memories forever. Some went mad, they simply couldn't cope. People at home weren't doing much better. Homes were destroyed, families torn apart. The conflict is over, but I'll go no hope. As nightmare lives on, watching this Tuesday. No man left his horror, the same boy they once were. For now, they are men, the broken heroes of this war. On the 28th of July 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated. This triggered what would be known as the Great War. Germany and Russia, amongst other countries, mobilised armies. On the 4th of August, Great Britain declared war. The war lasted for over four years. It finally came to an end on the 11th hour, the 11th day of the 11th month in 1914. Over 37 million civilians and military members lost their lives. This year marks the centenary since the start of the war. This video is a tribute to those that fought. This is Daniel Capper of Tonstone and Stoke on Trent. Like most his age, 24-year-old worked as a local potter until the outbreak of the Great War. Then on 24th of August, two weeks after Great Britain declared war, Daniel enrolled in the North Staffordshire Regiment of the Army and became Private Capper. Around 7 million soldiers served during the course of the war, although exact numbers are not known due to the loss of records during the Second World War. Posters such as the one featuring Lord Kitchener spurred vast numbers of citizens to demonstrate their patriotism and enrol into the army. To enlist and fight abroad you had to be 19 or over. To enlist you could be 18 but you had to stay in the UK until your 19th birthday. Many underage boys lied about their age, and it is estimated that 250,000 underage soldiers fought in the war. Private Kappa served in the British Expeditionary Force in France in 1915, leaving behind a wife and two children. Like millions of other families, they did not know whether they would ever see him again. I'm closer to as men left to fight for the war, women started to do jobs such as making ammunition and working in hospital. By the end of the war, three million of them were left widowed, and ten million children were left orphans. Thankfully, Private Kappa was reunited with his wife. On the 8th of July 1915, he was admitted to hospital due to a bayonet injury in his right thigh. He was deemed no longer fit for service. His personal cigarette case still bears the names of the other soldiers in hospital with him. Private Kappa was awarded three medals for his service known as Pep, Squeak and Welford. The 1914 1950 start known as Pep was awarded to all those who served in war against Germany between 1914 and 1915. British War Medal, also known as Squeak, was awarded to officers and men of the British and Imperial Forces who served between 1914 and 1918. The front of the medal depicts George V. Finally, the Allied Victory Medal, known as Wilfred, was the British version of the Bronze Victory Medal, commissioned by all the Allies. It shows a winged figure representing victory. Daniel Kappa returned to his wife and children and lived until 1946, aged 56 years of age, having proudly served his country in the face of the British enemy. We at Tooth and Elmonton Squadron would like to thank the brave soldiers that gave their lives in the Great War. They will never be forgotten.